Dear students, welcome to Impulse Master Classes, a program designed for 10th class students. I am Kishore, senior faculty in mathematics working with Impulse Junior Colleges, Hyderabad. Today we are going to discuss trigonometry in that trigonometric ratios and their relations. Let us have a look at this question. Find the value of 1 plus tan theta plus sec theta into 1 plus cot theta minus cosecant theta. The options are A1, B2, C3 and D4. Whenever these type of questions come in the examination, most of the students get confused and will take minutes to solve this. But here we see how to solve this question within seconds. In order to solve this problem easily, we need to understand trigonometric ratios and their relations thoroughly. In this video, let us discuss this. Now let us start with trigonometric ratios. In a right angle triangle, you all know that if this is theta, this is opposite side to theta, this is adjacent side to theta and this is hypotenuse. You also know that sin theta is equal to opposite side by hypotenuse which is nothing but AC by BC. Similarly, cos theta is equal to adjacent side to theta by hypotenuse which is AB by BC and tan theta is opposite side to theta by adjacent side to theta which is nothing but AC by AB and cosecant theta is the inverse of sin theta. So, th that would become BC by AC and secant theta is nothing but just by taking its reciprocal we have BC by AB and cot theta is the reciprocal of tan theta AB by AC. Now, let us understand relationship among trigonometric ratios. You know Pythagoras theorem. According to Pythagoras theorem, one side square plus the other side square is hypotenuse square. Let us divide both sides by BC square. So, BC square divided by BC square here also BC square. Now, observe this side this gets cancelled. Here we get 1. And among those trigonometric ratios, you can observe that AC by BC is here which is nothing but sin theta. And because square is here, we can write this as sin square theta plus you observe AB by BC. AB by BC is here which is nothing but cos theta and square is here. We can write cos square theta. This side we got 1. Thus we established a relationship between these two trigonometric ratios. Similarly, again if I take the Pythagoras theorem which is AC square plus AB square is equal to BC square. Instead of dividing by BC square, this time let us divide by AB square on both sides. Now AB square divided by AB square divided by AB square. This time AB square cancels here. Now observe AC by AB. AC by AB is here which is nothing but tan theta and because of this square we can write tan square theta plus 1 is equal to. You observe BC by AB. BC by AB is here which is nothing but secant theta and because of square we can write secant square theta. Let us bring this this side. Now we got a relation between secant square and tan square as secant square theta minus tan square theta is equal to 1. Similarly, again take Pythagoras theorem which is AC square plus AB square is equal to BC square. Let us divide on both sides by AC square now. So, divided by AC square, divided by AC square, divided by AC square. This time we can cancel these two. This is 1 plus we can observe that AB by AC is here which is nothing but cot theta and because of square we can write cot square theta is equal to. You observe BC by AC, BC by AC is here which is nothing but cosecant theta and because of that square we can write cosecant square theta. Now let us send this cot square theta that side then cosecant square theta, cosecant square theta minus cot square theta is equal to 1. This is another relationship between trigonometric ratios. Let us get back to our initial problem. Now I am going to tell you a trick. The trick is convert this into one of those three trigonometric relations. Maybe one or two or three. 
to do so let us observe what are the trigonometric ratios available in this expression you can observe that secant theta plus tan theta is here and the related relation is secant square theta minus tan square theta is equal to 1 we can solve this problem by using this relation or let us transform this into this relation and the other question is why not we take cot theta minus cosecant theta into consideration yes you can do like that also because relation between cosecant square theta minus cot square theta is equal to 1 is also there let me explain how to convert this into this first later i'll explain you conversion of this into this let us solve this problem using second relation 1 plus secant theta plus tan theta into 1 plus cot theta i wrote 1 by tan theta minus cosecant theta 1 plus secant theta plus tan theta if you do lcm tan theta is here tan theta into 1 is tan theta plus 1 minus here tan theta into cosecant theta 1 plus tan theta plus secant theta i wrote this in baguette 1 plus tan theta minus if you observe this tan theta into cosecant theta we can write tan theta as sin theta by cos theta into 1 by sin theta sin theta sin theta cancel we have 1 by cos theta which is nothing but secant theta so in the place of tan theta and cosecant theta we can write secant theta now if you observe this 1 plus tan theta i wrote in one bracket plus secant theta and 1 plus tan theta in one bracket minus secant theta this is appearing like a plus b into a minus b what is a plus b into a minus b you all know that this is a square minus b square so this must be like a square so 1 plus tan theta whole square minus b square so secant square theta by tan theta is there by tan theta so 1 plus tan square theta plus 2 tan theta by using a plus b whole square which is a square plus b square plus 2a so a square is 1 square tan square theta plus 2 tan theta minus secant square theta by tan theta i wrote 1 plus 2 tan theta as it is by taking minus common between these two we can write minus of secant square theta minus tan square theta by tan theta now you can observe that this is exactly our second relation which is secant square theta minus tan square theta which is 1 in this place if i put 1 this is minus 1 plus 1 cancel we are left with 2 tan theta by tan theta tan theta tan theta got cancelled so we are left with 2 which is our answer similarly we can solve this problem using the third relation as shown here if this question is given in board examination you can solve this question by the method which i had explained you but if this question comes in objective examination there is a trick which you can solve within seconds the trick is put theta is equal to pi by 4 in the problem then 1 plus tan 45 is 1 plus secant 45 is root 2 1 plus cot 45 is 1 minus cosecant 45 is root 2. this is 2 plus root 2 into 2 minus root 2. this is like a plus b into a minus b which is a square minus b square so 4 minus 2 we got same answer which is 2 students it's time for you to solve the problem you solve this problem sin theta minus 2 sin cube theta by 2 cos cube theta minus cos theta and the options are a sin theta b tan theta c cot theta and d cos theta in this master class we have seen trigonometric ratios and their relations. I hope you liked this class. See you in the next class. Thank you.